I'm going to show you how to file ePeople petition. From a campaign page, scroll down to Call for Action. Click here. It opens the uh, ePeople petition page. So what I'll do here is I will move this tab over here so I can have the two pages to look at ePeople petition page and our campaign page side by side. Okay, so type in your name. Put your nationality here. Here you need to remember that only the red asterisk field like this are required. The other fields without the asterisks are not required and you're not you don't have to put anything on there, okay? And then, um, country of residence, I'm going to put United States. Type in your address. Type in your email. And you have to be extra careful here when you put in the email address. Otherwise, you'll be uh, getting an error message. So here is the application form. Title, scroll down. And you, you can use our uh, suggested message, which will be the easiest. Otherwise, if you want to use your own words, that would be great too. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this subject and put it here under title. And I'm going to copy the entire suggested message here. And I'm going to copy and paste into the content. I'm also going to copy the Korean um, translation of our petition suggested uh, message here. So I, I will do copy. paste. And then if you have any attachment, you can find it here, click on here, and then find the attachment, whatever attachment you want to attach to your petition, and then it will attach it here. For me, today I'll just send this petition uh, without the attachment. So just checking to see, make sure that I have all the fields that are required are there. Okay, and then I'm going to just click on submit. Okay, and then it's sent. That's all there is to it.